Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to install Windows Vista 64-bit on a Max-Q computer. Once your computer is turned off, make sure the power supply switch is turned off and then unplug the power cord from the power supply unit. Unscrew two screws on the right side of the case. There will be one in the top and one in the bottom. After you get the case off, you'll want to unplug all the hard drives that you do not want the operating systems installed on. In this case, I only want the operating system installed on one hard drive. Now disconnect all the yellow cables from the hard drives which you do not wish to install the operating system of your choice on. In this case, I only want to install Vista 64-bit on one hard drive. I wish to leave the other hard drives intact. Now if you wish to install the same operating system on multiple hard drives, leave all of them connected. Carefully disconnect the black USB ribbon cable from the motherboard. Now you'll want to hook your power supply unit back up and turn the power supply to on. Start up your computer and when you see the core logo, press F12 on your keyboard. This will pull up the computer boot menu. Select CD-ROM from the list of choices. Press enter on your keyboard. Your computer will now boot from the CD-ROM or DVD. Follow the installation instructions and continue to the next step. Now install the motherboard drivers. After you install the motherboard drivers, install the graphics card drivers. Your computer may boot up and shut down a couple of times during the installation of both drivers. This is normal. After you finish installing all the drivers, shut down your computer, turn the power supply unit off, and unplug the power cord. Now reconnect all the hard drives and reconnect the black ribbon cable which you unplugged earlier. I also recommend labeling all your hard drives so in the future if you wish to install a different operating system it will be easy. You don't have to do this but it's definitely recommended if you have multiple hard drives. Now put the side panel back onto your computer. Install the screws. When installing the screws, make sure not to over tighten. You just want them snug with the case. Plug in your power supply unit, turn your power supply unit to on, turn your computer on. and restart your computer. Now if your computer boots up without the operating system choices listed, you'll need to go into the BIOS and reset the boot up menu, which I'll show you. In this case, the computer skipped to Vista 64 and did not give me the full list of operating systems that were installed in this computer. I will now show you how to get the menu working again. Restart your computer.
When the core logo appears, press delete on your keyboard. This will pull up the Cosmos Setup Utility. Select Advanced BIOS from the menu. Press Enter on Hard Disk Boot Priority. And change USB HD to number one priority. Save changes. And restart your computer. You now will see all of the different operating systems that are installed on your computer. In this case, I have Windows 7, Vista 64, which I just installed, and Mac OS X on two hard drives. And as you can see from the menu, I have four total operating systems and two DVD drives. I selected Vista 64 from the list, and as you can see, the install was a success. Thank you all for watching.